Hi everyone, I hope you're good guy. Welcome to a new video. It's the time of the year where I release my Ableton Wavetable Techno Preset Bank. So today we're gonna have a look at what you can find inside. And yeah, let's get started. So here is the folder you will get and you have inside audio loops, which are basically the audio printed from the MIDI and the preset themselves. So this is a great way to quickly send to the preset or even if you wanna put it into a sampler and chop it and do whatever you want with. Then you have this drum folder. Basically it's just some kick and hat loops that are created, especially for the back. I used them to make demo of the techno bank and I decided to put them as an extra so you will get some uh, just kick drum or kick rumble loop. They are pretty solid samples and you have a couple of hats and right then you have the midi folder or the preset come with a midi file and you can find it there and then after the three next folder are basically our preset so you have 115 preset and they all come in the three variation you have the lc version which is ableton live clip where you can just drag and drop here your preset and you will have straight away a midi track created with uh, the preset on it the midi clip with the variation as well on the midi clip So this is also very great if you just wanna pre-listen some of the preset quickly, you can just double click on it and it will play the preset. Then you have the dry preset, which is basically just the Ableton Wavetable preset because basically all the presets come into an instrument rack with Ableton Wavetable and some effect. And this is just the raw Wavetable preset. So that can be great if you wanna add your own effect. Keep in mind that nowadays, uh, the sound design of a preset is like 50% wavetable, 50% the audio effect. So it might completely be different than the instrument track. And then finally you have the wave version, uh, which is kind of the instrument track. So here, if you go inside, you see you will have the wavetable preset with all of the effect chain. And then you have the macro as well. So I'll come back to it in a bit. So I'm gonna show you a few of my favorite presets and how you can play with the macro, telling you a few things about the effect I used as well inside. But first let's have a listen a little bit to the main demo. So that's give you an idea of what you can find inside. So basically all the sound you will hear are from presets, just the drum power loop. Right, so that gives you an idea of what you can expect inside. Now let's go over my favorite preset and show you a few things here and there. So most of the time you will have like parameter, you can add variations uh, like the cutoff, the resonance, and then you will almost always have like the delay and the reverb amount. Uh, I put this macro just because if you find there is too much uh, delay and reverb or if you, there is not enough and mainly as well because if you want to use your own delay and reverb, you can just shut them off like this here and then after drag you on reverb there. you will have preset where you have a bit more macro for variation for example here you can play with the GK here you have a reduce effect if you like this noisy reduce effect or if you just want to bypass it you can even you can automate along the 
the track. Then I made a couple of home pre edits are like, you know, single note, low frequency sound, cinematic brassy sound that are great for drop or even like during breakdown. And again, you can automate, I have tried to sometimes put some macro where you can add modulation, you can use with the four for them to change the tone. This is always depend of preset, you know, some presets will have like eight macros, sometimes it will be just like two macros, this really depends per sound. Then you will have few key sounds, so it can be like some kind of up sound or just like some like simple melody that again will complement your track. Can you can. Set. See this kind of up usually work well in the background. Add tension during the breakdown. So usually I put the DK as well because again in the breakdown. When you bring up the GK, you have this longer note, which help bring the tension. You usually have attack as well, because it, sometimes it can be like around 30 milliseconds, like here, which you get this fluty effect sound. But if you put at zero millisecond, you got a more percussive sound and more plucky. Then we also found some parts, which are great to add a bit of texture or background sound. I add this year a couple of SFX. So these are kind of side trance inspired SFX, where you can... You can hear with a lot of modulation, stereo modulation, LFO going on, so you can control this with the mod LFO, with the stereo effect as well here. So you have this kind of weird effect. You can again change it with the fold, the tone. You can play with the high pass filter. Yeah, you can really experiment and quickly make kind of your own. Then you have some more pitched effects, SFX, like a riser. Again, you can control the rising time, the chorus, the filter. This one, another reason. You can control the speed rate. If you want to create more like a weird SFX, or if you want to like a slow rising SFX, that's up to you. All right, then for the stab and the send sound, I've been in the audio folder because they are pretty short sounds, so it's faster to switch them here. Give you. An idea of what you can get. All well, obviously they are into the rack with some macro. That gives you an idea and you have some sense sound as well. The acid stuff. You have some more low drone scent as well, which are great for breakdown. More acid stuff. Couple of stab stuff are in there as well. But yeah, that gives you an idea of what you can find inside. And yeah, I hope you will like it. Uh, we'll put the link in the description. It's a great way to support me. Have a good one and see you next week for a new video, guys. Bye bye.